So now we want to add on some sound effects. This jingles area is where you will do that. Most kids think that they find it here in the audio with the music down there. It's actually this loop button. So you click on that loop button and you'll have this load. It may take a few seconds, so give it a chance. And once you found a, maybe a category that you want, what you do is you double click to hear it. Notice the length of the song. Click it again to stop. Now let's say you're trying to find one that works well for you. If you want to, you can fave it. It, it will go into your favorites. Go through, find what you need. You can also do a search. You can look through it this way, or you can type in something like crowd. And you might find it that way. Now keep in mind, yours must be appropriate. I'm going to go back to my favorites, and here are the ones that are in categories of things that I found. Now let's say this is a good intro for me, but it's 35 seconds. Well, I'm going to start by grabbing it and pulling it over to my jingles. And look how long that is. I really don't want it that long. That's really long. So what I could do is I could shorten it quite a bit. Maybe I'll put it right there, make sure I have this selected. Remember, if it's bright blue, just like the, the recording was bright purple, you've got it selected. So I'm going to go up to my edit and split, just like a recording. Click away, click on, hit delete. So now what you have here is you've got this, and it's, you're going to hear the effects of the sound here of your voice along with this. And you see these bars move up and down. You want to talk slowly and clearly. Okay. And remember your stop and start button is on the space bar. So now I'm going to pull this back, but let's say I go, you know, I want my, my voice to start later. So I'm going to go back over here and unlock. I'm going to pull this over. And remember, I want to make sure my art is pulled over to match it. I don't want it shorter. I want to make sure my art is maybe a little bit longer. So now I'll start it over here. You can also come down to this button and go to the beginning and hit either your space bar or play. So this is my intro. And then I start talking. And you will see these bars move up and down. You want to talk slowly and clearly. There you go. That is how you add in some jingles. You can also take and split some of your recording here. Let's say you talked about something and it was a perfect spot for a sound effect. Put that over it. Make sure you've got it selected. Edit. Split. Pull it off. And here maybe I'll, I'm going to try and shrink that a little bit to get it smaller so it's not as long. And you can find something in here, throw this in. Now that's a little bit long, isn't it? So you can come way over here, pull this back in. That's one way to shorten it as well. You can have your crowd in between. So you've got this. Yeah. You want to talk slowly. and Okay, so you can split it that way as well. Remember, you're going to want to make sure that you keep these things locked. Otherwise, if you don't and you grab and pull something over it, you might erase some of what you had recorded. So make sure that you don't do that. Even if I pull it down, it might be gone. If I think I made a mistake, I'm going to do edit, undo, until I come back to where I originally was. That way I can be sure that I didn't make a mistake.